Hi, let me there, my brother. How are you? It has been a while. How have you been copying? After our graduation since last year. <laughs> I am fine, my brother. We have been managing life. We live in a nation where you will be a graduate and you have nothing to do. That is why so many people don't want to go to school. I don't blame them. What about you, bro? How have you been coping? Have you been able to find a place where you'll be working? Or you are still uh, doing the training you told me the other time? I, <laughs> I just completed the training and I was retained. That is my happiness. It has not been easy for me, but I thank God that I'm still alive. And I believe that uh, maybe I will start saving some more money from my salary. Ah, that is a good news. Congratulations, my brother. Ah, I'm so much happy for you. When are we going to meet, you know, so that we celebrate this year good news? Oh, you're always busy. I see you are going somewhere now. When are you going to be free? When are you going to be free, my man? Said I will go and ball out. You've forgotten our old life. Huh? I really miss those days, man. Tell me when you'll be free so that we can go out and celebrate together just for one day, okay? That would be nice. I will tell you. Don't worry, I have your number. I will call you and uh, I'll tell you the day I'll be free. But I know that it will not pass uh, Sunday next week. Okay? I really miss you, guy. We we'll have to go and chill and call our old friends. Maybe they will meet us at the Star Hotel. You know? <laughs> so much happy, Olamide. So happy to meet you again. You are my man. <laughs> you deserve a hug, man. Thanks, my brother Gideon. It has been a long time, but that is fine. Um, did you watch the Nigeria election? You see what I negated to us. When are they going to stop this kind of thing? They are the cause of our problem. In fact, INEC is the number one problem in Nigeria. If they will stop rigging in this country, a lot of things will change. I don't blame them. People are so much after money in this country. They don't have character. People in power lack character. And the process that took them to power also is, is the one that is questionable. So you will not blame them. Uh, forget about her neck. What they did to us is something that I don't know if it should happen in other countries. The nation will be burning by now. The nation would have been burning, but in Nigeria we tolerate everything. We tolerate all kinds of nonsense. See, the ruling party paid the INEC chairman heavily to do everything possible to suppress the opposition votes. That is the reason why they have to bring this demented elderly man that needs to be resting now to come and be heading the affairs of this nation. That is a taboo. That is not supposed to happen. But you see, what are we going to do? It's a very painful thing, man. Seriously, I don't know when this madness will stop. When are we going to end this nonsense that every time our people will be 
shouting they need a change and the electoral commission will bring a negative change to the nation that is not what we are yelling for we are calling for a good leadership we are saying that we need a good leader a leader that understands the 21st century economy and the system of government and not the one that still subscribe to the ancient leadership style no we cannot continue like this if you truly want to move forward as a nation as one nigeria did you hear what the uh, liberal party uh, presidential candidate said he said that he had an opportunity to do what every other politicians are doing but he chose not to do it he chose to do the right thing that is the kind of leader we want in nigeria a leader that is compassionate a leader that is free to interact with the masses a leader that is fit and capable to deliver a leader with character a leader that will do everything possible to incorporate every unit of this country, every community of this country to his leadership. That is the kind of leader we want. The moment we start talking about things that are wrong, we are shying away from the truth. Africa will be good as a country. Our 40 foundation is really dealing with us. Yes, we have everything in Africa. We have the human capacity. We have in our resources that are making other continents rich. But still, Africa is poor. Why? Because of the primitive leadership. Because of the kind of leaders we have. Africa, I don't know how, when, and how we are going to come out from this mess. We need to get it right this time. Just as Peter B said, that is going to challenge this rascality. It needs to be challenged. If not, this will continue and we must not continue this way. We must not continue this way, my brother. We must not continue this way. Because of this madness that is going on, that is the reason why the INEC chairman have the infantry to tell the opposition parties to go to court if they are not happy with your response. Can this kind of thing happen in a civilized society? Can this kind of thing happen in a country like South Africa? That is still within Africa I, and they call us the giant of us. We are not giant. We are only giant in population, population without productivity. That is nonsense. We must not continue like this. We must fight. We must do everything possible that they end these useless processes at which they elect our leaders. It is not going to continue like this. Yeah, we will do everything to end this. These politicians must stop gambling with the future of the unborn generations. If they are selfish, we send them home. If you are not productive, we will do everything possible to send you home. That is what Nigerians should be doing and not align tribe and religion to be the problem. It must not continue this way. We want in Nigeria where things are working. We want to see in Nigeria where everybody will feel included. We want to see in Nigeria where people will be proud to raise the flag of the nation or be proud to die for the nation. How many Nigerians are proud of their country? How many are patriotic enough to die for their country? If you can't die for your country, you shouldn't live in your country. The opposition party have dragged a high and able to court. Let's see what the court is going to be like. I know the, the ruling may be in favor of APC, but let's see how it will end. This is Nigeria. And 
I believe that one day we'll get it right. We'll get it right in this country. And we'll be happy to be called in Nigeria. We'll no longer be treated as a criminal outside the country. My brother, let's see. Later. Bye bye.